I'm uh, 54. I have a wife, two kids. I've been in business and uh, uh, in my spare time I uh, spent a lot of time in the equestrian sports. Well, apparently uh, the first word I could say was paard, which means horse in Dutch. Uh, we always had horses at home, uh, so we uh, were brought up with them. Uh, when I was 16, uh, I hiked to uh, Aachen with a little tent. I put it up at the farmhouse uh, near the showground and uh, uh, visited uh, the showground uh, illegally, uh, looking uh, for the sport uh, and five days of highlights, uh, dressage and show. Well, Rotterdam is a very special place for me because uh, I was in the board of the organization for 10 years, uh, responsible for stabling and press at the time, uh, had a lot of contacts in the sport and uh, uh, got involved in, in the international sport that way. There is, a, uh, there is a lot to do for, uh, for a president in any sports organization, certainly one that needs to globalize and uh, develop itself in uh, new continents. I have experience uh, in the governance of sport, uh, being the vice president of our federation and uh, chairman uh, of a committee merging 16 organizations uh, into uh, one federation. There are a lot of emotions, rationale, uh, that all belongs to our sport and it's legitimate and uh, uh, we must find a way uh, which is different from running a business. Well, I think uh, uh, we should include as many people as possible. Uh, uh, listen to stakeholders, being in the first place of course the riders, but just as much their owners, the organizers. You can't uh, have our sport without good organizers officials and our sponsors. If we do understand what those stakeholders want, we must come with clear plans and clear actions uh, to uh, get things done. I see three concerns. First, the trust between people. People has to be open about their motives, the way they want to see things changed and the way they want to see things executed and uh, understand each other very well. Secondly, uh, globalization. There is a shift of power in the world which is not there in our equestrian sport. We are uh, behind that development and we must make sure we are in the center of uh, the attention of the world. And the third one is there is too much rumor about clean sport. We are not clear ourselves what we want and what we don't want. We have to end the discussion very quickly because now it seems to the outside world there is a big, big uh, uh, problem there which I do feel is very solvable.